What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray. And I'm back with another What Happened series. And this time, this time, people, we are going to do this video off of the recommendation of one of my subscribers on YouTube. Goes by the goes by the name of Jane Patton. So if I'm saying it wrong, Jane, please forgive me. But I'm going to read your whole message and we're going to get into this man. But Jane writes, this is smart and could set you apart from Livic, the crew and the rest. Do updates on artists that we haven't heard in a while, especially those with the new projects. And it helps us keep up with great artists that can't afford marketing. I've been wondering what happened to Flame. Hit, hit. And I heard you. I heard you. So this what happened is it's going to go in a little detail about Flame. Again, this is kind of like highlights. It's not going to be like in depth from when Flame was young until now. Don't have that much time. But but we're going to go by Flame. Flame real name is Marcus Gray. He's a hip hop recording artist with Clear Sight Music, which is the record label that he owns. He has released nine albums, including the self titled Flame, Rewind, Our World Fallen, Our World Redeemed, Capture the Sixth Royal Flesh, Forward, and God Knows. Flame has been nominated for several Doves and Stella Awards throughout his music career, and Our World Redeemed was nominated for a Grammy. A Grammy. So, guys, Flame is 37 years old. He was born September 16th, 1991. And also, Flame is going for his master's, I believe, in seminary. But he has a bachelor's in seminary. And also, guys, this brother is still touring. So let's get into some meat about Flame. So Flame signed with Cross Movement Records in 2004. So his first album, Flame, it sold over 98,000 copies. It was released October 12, 2004. In 05, he released Rewind. It was his second studio album. It sold over 74,000 records. It was a Dove Award nominee for Best Rap Hip Hop Recorded Song of the Year for Gotta Notice. So, in that was released in December 6, 2005. In 07, Our World Fallen came out. That was his third studio album. It was released in April 17, 2007. So, it was about a two year, almost a year, year and a half gap between rewind and our world falling it was the first album of a two album series the album is a passionate but basic explanation of god's pursuit for his created people flame says it's very simple but it is a very informative appeal for people to run to christ and then in 2008 he came up with our world team and that came out in march 4th of 2008 that was his fourth studio album it was the second album in a two album series it was a stellar award nominee for rap album of the year it was a dove award nominee for best rap hip-hop record recorded song of the year for joy for noise and again if we got to go back to joy for noise in a minute but joy for noise was a huge song but also flame and his producer sued Katy Perry for sampling or taking joy for that uh, Dark Horse song that they had back in 2014. But that was Lame's last album released with Cross Movement Records. So his first album underneath his new imprint, Clear Sight, was captured. That was his fifth studio album. It was released in December 28th, 2010. It was a stellar award nominee for rap album of the year. And also had a Dove nominee for best rap hip hop album of the year and best urban recorded song for All I Need. It was number one on the Billboard Gospel Charts. That was January 2011. It was number five on the Billboard Christian. That was January 11 as well number 17 on the billboard rap that was also in january it was number 52 on billboard's overall 200 charts that was in january as well it was number 11 on billboard's independent that was in january so in 2012 he released the sixth 
That was the sixth studio album. It was released March 6, 2012. It was a stellar award nominee for Rap Album of the Year. Number one on Billboard Gospel. Number two on Billboard Christian. Number eight on Billboard Rap. Number 67 on Billboard Top 200. Number eight on Billboard Independent. Number one on iTunes with Rap. That was March of 2012. Number eight on iTunes Total Albums. That was in 2012. In the 2013, he came out with Royal Flush. That was the seventh studio album. It was released on October 1st, 2013. It was a Dove Award nominated for Rap Album of the Year. 2015, he came out with Forward. That was his eighth studio album. It was released in July 17, 15. It was a Stella Award nominee for Rap Album of the Year. It was nominated for a Dove Award as well for rap album of the year in 2018 he came out with god knows it was a nice studio album it was released in march 2nd 2018 and that record has been nominated for the 2019 still award for best hip-hop album so again that's a mouthful but flame has a career him and lecrae pretty much started at the same time the same exact time, pretty much. Uh, Real Talk came out, I think, in 2004, I believe. So you have Flame, who has, credential-wise, has probably one of the greatest Christian hip-hop just careers ever. I think that he peaked a little bit in, I think, after the sixth album was released. He kind of peaked, but don't get it wrong. Flame is continuing to make great music. His last album, God Knows, is really dope. And his song, Swimming With Sharks, is just bananas. And it has so many different gems. So his last char- or, uh, his last charting album, excuse me, in the top 200 was the 6, that was in 13. His last charting song was Joy For Noah's in 2014. And his last Christian album, album to chart was forward so the, this is not about numbers guys it's not about accolades he's still making good music he's still touring so flame is still in the culture still putting out music still reinventing himself but because he's been doing music for so long we sometimes we can forget about flame because he was one of those artists that refused not to dumb down his message to appeal to a broader mainstream crowd. And the one thing that I'm noticing in Christian hip hop is that a lot of people do not want to carry the banner of Jesus Christ. They want to kind of get in the mainstream where the money's at, but really we're not called to make money. We're called to save souls, people. And to be honest with you, man, Flame is already going on tours for the people tour. He's going on tour with D1. And he also going on tour with Bizzle. Three heavy hitters in the game. They're going on tour together. I think that's dope. I think that's crazy. And I think that we have to, in Christian hip-hop, stand for something. There's too many people out here doing this music. If they're not really about God, we need to call those people out, man. We need to say, hey, if you want fame and fortune, amen. But over here, it's about loving god it's about loving people it's about saving souls so i think that flame man i was talking to miguel on the radio last week and we talked about the situation friday and he said that do you see that flame can have a comeback i think fame right now i think that flame is still making music he's still a good player but i think that he may be in the twilight of his career but but I would not be surprised if Flame do come out with another hit, another song that captures us because Flame is such a great artist. He's such a great talent. So I'm not saying that he's just washed. He's not washed. He's just not in the eye of the public right now. But he's going on tour. So for the people tour, if you haven't, if you see the tour, if you want to go on it, please go to the for the people tour.com. See if it's in your city and support. So this is just what I've got going on right now. Uh, If you want to talk about this, let's talk about Flame. Please comment down below. And also, I just released my new song, my new album, not my new song, excuse me. I just released my new video for Yes Sir. It's in the the box. 
you know what I'm saying, go check it out. But again, it's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, and please don't forget all three. Lucky Murray and I'm back with another CHH today. And guys, Flame is still here. Flame is still chilling. But hey, Flame, if we had a CHH Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, excuse me, not Flame. <laughs> if we had a CHH Hall of Fame, Flame would be a first ballot Hall of Famer. But hey, his career is not over yet. I will keep you posted for more information. But yeah, Flame is still doing, you know, still doing work for the Lord. But until next time, people.